a relatively new instrument uh, that has come on the market is these are these new vortex orifice openers, which I find very helpful on most of my cases. These orifice openers are are used exactly the way they are named, only in the orifice. They are not meant to go around a curve. They are not meant to instrument to working length. They are only meant to um, basically open the orifice level of the canal. Um, so I, myself, personal preference, I like the 16 millimeter length vortex orifice openers, and I like the 2008 and the 2508 and the 2510 tapered orifice openers. Okay, I do not go into the 12 taper or the size 40 or 30. That's just a personal preference of mine. The advantage of these orifice openers over to something like a Gates Glidden or some other type of orifice opener, these particular vortex orifice openers um, only have cutting edges to a certain level and then the walls of the instrument are parallel. So the very minimal cutting diameter, which is the, the basically the move, the movement in um, uh, uh, minimally invasive uh, dentistry today. We are now applying this to endodontic techniques, trying to reduce the amount of tooth structure that we're removing in the corona one-third of the canal. Okay, so I find this concept to be very nice. And I believe this is in a mandibular um, canal. And you can see this is the mesiolingual canal that I'm going to be um, opening the orifice first. Okay, so the this is actually the 20 um, the 20 vortex orifice opener with the 08 taper. And you can see I'm going into the canal. You can see the debris is building up. Okay, so I'm going to be bringing this instrument out soon and cleaning the debris off. But what I what I want to emphasize is I use these out towards the line angles of the tooth. So the pressure that I'm putting, the slight pressure, finger pressure I'm putting on this contra angle is out towards the mesiolingual line angle if I'm in the mesiolingual orifice, okay? <clears throat> I'm in the mesial buccal orifice now. My finger pressure now is going out towards the mesial buccal line angle, removing that cervical constriction, that triangle of dentin in the orifice area, okay? This not only opens the orifice up, not only just instrumentation-wise, but it, it actually eases our access for our rotary file system for the vortex blue as we progress through the rotary uh, file systems. So access is actually eased with these vortex orifice openers. Now what I'm going to do is switch to the 2510 orifice opener in the mesial lingual. You can see the debris that I'm removing. Um, then I will then uh, go into the um, mesial buckle and do the same instrumentation process there. Again, uh, orifice openers are only applied um, to the orifice, to the uh, coronal one-third of the canal, not meant to go around acute curves. And in fact, if you encounter um, a case where there is an acute curve curvature, uh, directly below the orifice of the canal or within two or three millimeters, I would suggest not using these orifice openers. Okay, these are stiff kind of robust files. Uh, I would rather uh, probably open those up with probably hand files and maybe path files. 